It's dinner party time again, I'm afraid, and we thought we'd run through tonight a few of the people you should avoid at these social minefields. First up, choose your host carefully. Avoid anyone with treasured or valuable tableware. Mm. Do you like our wine glasses? Yes. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. very special to us, yes. We were given them 12 years ago. Ooh. Mm. It's a wedding present. Ooh. Anyway, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> well, um... That's got the evening off on a good note. Another person to avoid, apart from your host, is who? Um, what? Anyone with a recent history of dental surgery. Did I mention I've? Uh, did I mention I've had my wisdom teeth out? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And the incredible thing is that this one is in, was impacted, and like he had to get the pliers out oh, here, and he had that expression where he's going. And he goes, bang, and all the pus came yeah, out. Yeah, I, oh, I, no, I think. Uh, another. Had the, thank you. <laughs> we'll be hearing more from him, I'm sure. Another. What happened to his hair? <laughs> Fair question, Sanjo. Another, uh, another person I think to avoid at dinner parties is this woman here, the compulsive dishwasher. Josie, you can live with that. No, I haven't, Judith. No, 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 really, no, 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 it's relaxing and it'll only take a minute. Only take you in. That's what the dentist said to me when he started. Yeah, on okay. 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 Jerry, what's your time? It's an anniversary present. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, I think we I think we've Watch got it. I think we've got the sound effect. Um, <laughs> but one of one of my most feared dinner party guests is this. You'll you'll pick him by the bow tie. It's the would-be comedian. <laughs> Here's one for you all. Now, this guy's only form of social interaction is retelling tedious old jokes. <clears throat> there were these 14 guys. There was, a, there was an American, mm -hmm. an Englishman, no, no. an Irishman, and there was a Finnish guy. I'm sure there was. Finnish. Not only there was a are, Lithuanian, there's a, that's a new country. Now. Not only are they long and tedious, he insists on doing all of the accents. Anyway, all these 29 guys, they were on a, they were on a bus, and Paddy says, Oh, look at that, they're a sign. <laughs> we, um, we presume at this point Paddy is Sicilian, but <laughs> it's quite open. Now, the thing about these guys is you're never entirely sure when they've reached the punchline, so the other guests sort of have to just feel it. Yeah. And uh, he sees a sign that says, Tree fellows wanted. He said, It's a pity there's four of us. Oh, oh, that's very funny. Yeah, yeah. More wine, anybody? And then the Scots guy, then the Scottish guy. More says, wine? No, more no, the wine? Scottish guy more says, wine? I haven't finished. The Scottish guy, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. More wine? That is incredible. Mm. That, yeah, watch it. that is the exact colour. <laughs> <laughs> that's the exact colour of his hair. <laughs> Yeah, no. He's funnier than he was earlier on in the evening. Now, this is the exact mm. colour. Careful, it's very special. To <laughs> I think everyone's worked that out. I think so. <laughs> it's the exact colour of the fluid that came out when the sutures got in. Oh. Oh. No, actually, it had more bubbles. Like when they did the. Yeah, okay. It had more bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody move! I'm oh, gone. Dude, no, it's okay. Sorry, about that. Five stars. Yeah. Sorry, no, just fix it up. Please. Everyone stay calm. Sorry. It's going to be a long evening. A a another <laughs> dreaded guest is it's the person we call the I person. You know the sort of person that talks about themselves all night long? I this and I that. <laughs> oh, there's been a mix-up. That's obviously the boring introvert we dragged out of the audience <laughs> character, not the, the I. And the slightly um, overacting one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> David used to talk about himself all the time. Ah, oh, oh, he's danger. Yeah. Avoid, avoid the victim of a recent breakup. The bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know that I walked in on the two of them. Oh, here we know. The, <laughs> the slut. Yeah. I walked in yeah. and they were there together. Mm. And you know what the worst, the worst thing is that, God, I don't know, is it me, but I still love him. I can't believe it, but I, I still love him. I don't know what's wrong with me. No, I'm relax, relax, I'll mean, cheer you up. Here's a, joke, here's a joke for you. <laughs> there was this guy, right, and he walks in on his wife and his best mate in yeah, bed. I, and he I, says, <laughs> You're just praying. I shall say it in an accent. But me, 
<laughs> That's not why. Like the joke is, no you not. have to, but me? So I've got to go wrong. At this, I've still got a bow tie. At this point, you're just praying for the host to put the sketch out of its misery by offering coffee. But even here, the pressure is on. Who's for coffee? I'll have an espresso, thanks. Mm. And one of those little small cups, because they're easy to clean. Right. I'll have a lungo macchiato. I'll have a... Uh, <laughs> when you're ready. <laughs> I'll have a cafe latte, per favore. Per me è un po' tardino, allora non so se... Credo per me berei un cup of tea. OK. <laughs> That's three coffees and one tea. And uh, what were you after? Uh, I'm just here to introduce the toilet break, actually. <laughs> and uh, what a good idea this turned out to be. Thank you. What about... I think it's reached its end, so a big hand for the dinner party yeah. sketch. Yeah.